I was talking about functional lenses. Um, they are a concept in functional programming that sound scary to many programmers and I wanted to demystify that. So I explained it in a very approachable way um, using concepts that they already use um, and I explained how you could use that for state management and uh, how for instance I use that in my own framework and how to use that in different frameworks that are out there in JavaScript world such as Vue.js and React and Angular. I did recognize some people sending tweets and some people saying that, hey, now I got it. Also, some people came to talk to me that, like, they asked a bit more detail, how did you do that and this? And I explained and I think, so after all, the concept is not that complex. Uh, it's just the whole packaging of, you know, how people typically talk about it is complex. They will remember one word which is the unselector so they have been used to selectors and I hope that I have brought unselectors because if you add selectors and unselectors you get lenses and I hope they understand that the purpose of what uh, of the selector and the unselector talk uh, about Webpack from Tobias and talking about the new, uh, the new changes in, in, in Webpack. I found those details quite interesting. I don't follow that closely what's happening in Webpack. It's just good to have an overview exactly how that's going. Amsterdam is very nice. Um, I think, of course, the main highlight is the bicycles and, you know, you can just go anywhere you want. And, um, what's funny is that the first time I came to Amsterdam, I wanted to see the Amsterdam Canal. But I noticed quickly that there's countless amounts of canals. 